allow me to invite your excellency on behalf of county first ladies the first lady of mandera county her excellency hoda ibrahim kindly welcome another round of applause please welcome Her Excellency Mamaida and uh, all protocol observed because of time I can't mention everybody by name everybody is honorable here mashallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat once again assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat I am very happy, I'm very honored to be here today with my other fellow Muslim sisters. And um, we, we really appreciate your effort, Mama Ida. Alhamdulillah, we are in the month of Ramadan. May Allah accept our prayers, our psalm, bi'idhnillah al-kareem. And uh, we say we are, we are beginning the last ten nights of the of the month. Al Alhamdulillah, at least we have, we have had the first 20 days. And these are the last 10 days that are very crucial in the month and in the year. So we pray may Allah make us get that very night we are looking forward to. That is Laylatul Qadr. May, may Allah grant us that very night. Bi'idhnillah al-kareem. Insha'Allah, let's all pray together that may Allah grant us that night. And we pray. And when the voting comes, insha'Allah, we vote in peace. Peace is very prevailing, very important. Having seen what war has in my county back in 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. I think many of us who come from Mandera knows how Mandera was in 2013 when we came in as, as the first governor and as the first lady of Mandera County. We had a terrible time. But Alhamdulillah, 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 God has helped us and peace has been gained. And I hope and pray, we hope we, we get that peace all over the country, inshallah, during this time of election. And we don't see nobody killing any other person. Everybody is entitled to vote for anybody he or she wishes. But let all of us preach nothing but peace. Please. Peace is very important. Peace is very important. Only those who have lost peace knows what peace, what war is. So please, wherever we go, as of course, having done conflict in, in my university, I know women can do a lot in propagating for war and gaining peace. So we are all here. We are all ladies. We know how we, how we can go around men create war all of a sudden, if we want to. We can also rewind and get peace, if we want to, that is. So, and in any case, if war comes, it's only the ladies who suffer. Because you are carrying the bulk by yourself. Men are never there. Like now, as we speak, in Marsebe, there is war. In Baringo, and in, in, in Pokot, there is war. Who is suffering? Only the ladies. 80% women suffer. So because it's us who suffer, please let's pray and let's tell our boys, our husbands, our brothers that we lose them in the war. We, don't, we never get them back. So please, let's please and please, that's my, 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 my point, my, my, my plea. Let's pray for peace and let's always, always talk about peace wherever we go. And Mamaida uh, Karibu Mandera, inshallah ta'ala, we hope to see you in Mandera soon. And, without, and I was cautioned not to talk, not to take a lot of time. Because of time, I am humbled. Thank you.